It is smelling good in here, Pete. Oh, We've thanks. got Chef Pete Lemire from Your Secret Kitchen in Swamico with us. Uh, what do you got cooking? These are white fish cakes. They're very similar to a crab cake, but it's something that we can do with local fish. Yeah. And it's something that I know a lot of people grew up with. Mm -hmm. And we can use all different types of freshwater fish to do fish cakes, but white fish seems to be my favorite. Yeah, it's so regional, local, you it know. Is. And there's a few little secret things that you need to know from your secret place. Well, bring us through it. Okay. We're going to use one egg as a binder in here. And you always whip the egg first separately, then add all the wet ingredients, just like if you're baking. Mm. So we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of just a real high quality mayonnaise. And then we're going to add some nice prepared mustard. And uh, that's where you're going to get a nice background flavor. Okay. It brings the acid to the dish. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to bring in my um, seafood seasoning right away. And Could that be like an Old Bay or something? Old Bay is the best. Okay, okay. It is Old Bay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to uh, incorporate all this. And what that's going to do is allow us to have even distribution of the egg, the mayo, all the seasonings are going to go all the way through the patty. They're not going to be in just a section of it. Nice. And um, we're using fresh breadcrumbs. And most recipes will call for you to tear the bread. But I find as I'm tearing the bread that it just gets annoying. Okay. So, well, the weather word is... Uh, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> So, so just nicely cube it. Nice, tight little cubes. You don't have to worry if you crush it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use a spoon, and we'll just work that in so that we can um, get all the bread lubricated and ready to hold our fish nice and tight. Okay. Then we'll add the fish. Let me just check this one. Oh, oh it was calling perfection. your name. Look at how yeah. perfectly golden brown those are. Yeah. Then when we flake the fish in, it's just a matter of, of crumbling it gently, not to make it mushy. We want to separate it and flake it. Did you pre-season the fish with something? I seasoned it with a little bit of Old Bay. Okay. And I also uh, put a little olive oil on the fish. Mm -hmm. And the olive oil on the fish helps keep the moisture. It retains the moisture of the, of the body of the mm -hmm. fish. As we flake the fish in, um, we're going to hand incorporate this because we're going to make patties anyway. Right, so you're going to be so, using your hands yeah. anyway. And as long as we're going to get our hands in it, we might as well get them in it right. Yeah. We're going to stir this and fold this together. We don't want to mash it together. Don't crush it together. Mm -hmm. or we'll destroy the fish. So we kind of stir it and incorporate it. And I find that these are two ounce patties and a two ounce patty cooks well in the pan and presents itself nice to the plate. Okay. I would rather serve three two-ounce patties than two three-ounce patties just because they cook nicer. Got it. This uh, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. All That's right. a two-inch or two-ounce patty. Yep. And we flatten it out. What works really, really well is if you have a little pan of water and dip your hands in the pan of water and when you do that, it'll prevent any sticking. Okay. It'll stop all the sticking that you're going to have on your hands. Mm. You can make these in advance and put them in the refrigerator. Yep. If you do that, if you choose to do that, it's perfectly fine, but please remember to bring them to room temperature before you start to cook them. Okay. Because we want them to cook all the way through. How long on each side? They're going to take about three to four five minutes on each side. Well, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, we're going to get these plated up. I, and I, I have to try one. We'll, we'll do that when we come back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.